All right, so it seems like our boy Wimby is following in the goat's footsteps. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? All right, so I'm not expecting this to be a long video. I just wanted to dive into this with you guys because I just found it. I found it interesting. Now, before we talk about it really quick, if you guys want to support the channel, clanthemerchfan.com, link in the description. I actually caught up on the orders. I think I have two more. Um, so if you want to be next in line, uh, please do link in the description and, and get yourself some merch, man. I, I got I got plenty to choose from. And as I always say, if you get any orders that comes out to 80 plus, it is free shipping. Just make sure you use the promo code free ship uh, at the end. Some people forget to do that. So make sure you use actually use the promo code. It won't do it by itself. All right. So let's go ahead and dive into this. So our boy Wimby, I know you've seen this on social media, I'm, I'm sure, uh, that he was working out with Jesse James, a boxer. Um, and there's footage, or not footage, but a picture of it right here. And the internet went crazy. All right, Spurs Twitter lost their absolute minds. Um, but there's something about this. There's a detail about this that I did not know at all. And I found that very interesting. But the reason why I said that following in Tim Duncan's footsteps, as we also know that Tim Duncan dabbled in to, well, he didn't dabble in, he completely dived into uh, kickboxing uh, with, with uh, his trainer here. And... I was initially going to go through this article and go over some of the things that his trainer had to say about Tim Duncan, uh, just because I thought it would be interesting. But after reading it, it's not interesting at all. Like it, it's the whole typical like trainer talk, right? Like they always pump you up. They always say you're they, they use certain language. He's an animal. He's a monster. He's nothing to play with. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same old, same old. Um, so there's nothing here that's really that interesting. Just know that they became pretty close and uh, his trainer believes that he's a monster. Uh, his trainer, Jason a uh, Echols, Echols, Echols? I think that's how you say it. I think he's a monster. Now, this is what I wanted to dive into actually. So Jesse James, if you don't know who he is, uh, he is actually an absolute monster. I'm the trainer now. Um, yeah, he's a monster. If you go back and you look at his uh, weight class, so he's from San Antonio. He was born and raised in, in, in San Antonio. And we can scroll down here and you see how many wins he had. Oh my God. He had 57 total fights uh, and he won 47 of them. And the wins by KO were 19. He only had seven losses and two draws. That's absolutely ridiculous. And they even have his whole uh, track record here. So yeah, he was a monster um, when he was boxing. Now he's in his 50s. And this is actually the detail that I wanted to bring up because this is something I did not know whatsoever. And this is why I found this interesting. So I maybe maybe I'm just late to it, okay? I'm, I'm a fake Spurs fan, I guess. I had no idea that he does this every single like season. He, he comes in and he works with the San Antonio Spurs uh, 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 first round picks every single season. I had no idea that was even a detail. It says here, the former world boxing uh, champion, better known as Jesse James, spends every summer teaching the finer skills of ring. I'm not going to try it. it. It's not hard to say, but I, I already know I'm going to mess that up. I'm not even going to do it. I'm cool. I'm cool. Uh, <laughs> to who, whoever the San Antonio Spurs draft in the first round. Um, now, what I what I found the most interesting about this is not only the fact that he's done this um, every single year apparently with their first round picks, it, it's the fact that I keep up with all things Spurs and I had no idea this was even going on. And maybe that is just a personal thing for me. Maybe I should you know do a little bit little little bit more research, I guess, um, because honestly I had no idea. But I think that this does speaks volumes volumes to how popular Wimby actually is. Because this made rounds around everywhere, but I swear, guys, it did not make any rounds when he was working out Blake Wesley or Malachi Branham. I, I don't recall that um, at all. But now that I'm looking through, because just going through his, his Instagram here, you can see him here with Derek White. I was just completely late to the punch. So proud of the accomplishments of Derek White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I just had no idea. So interesting stuff. That's him with Chris Rock. Um, maybe he taught him a little bit of something so you can slap Will Smith back. Um, but yeah, really good stuff, really nice stuff. And yeah, just wanted to bring that to your attention. And yeah, that, that's all I really had here. Uh, but yeah, huge Spurs fan apparently. But I'll give it to you guys later. You want to support the channel, you know how. Uh, link in the description. Until next time, man. Uh, bye.